Downtown San Antonio is one of the most recognizable parts of the Alamo City, and it's the topic of our newest Know My Neighborhood. That's right. The area brings in so many tourists, especially this time of year for Fiesta, and many locals call downtown home as well. So later today on the 6 o'clock news, we are talking about the people and the challenges. We got Steve Priester up early again to yeah. join us now <laughs> with a preview of what we can expect tonight. Yeah, imagine living downtown, especially this week, with Fiesta right outside your front door. Right. It, it, it's unique challenges, but unique opportunities. And it seems like the people who live in this neighborhood relish the fact that they have this much activity, this much noise right outside their front door. But, you know, it, it, as we pointed out in that sizzle reel that we just showed you, there are some significant challenges right now to living downtown. I it's mean, like location, location, location. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the fact just getting around downtown. Yeah. And there are some people who have who live downtown who've actually given up their cars, which I know is kind of foreign to many of us Texans, <laughs> actually <laughs> not having a vehicle. But then you've got, you know, you've got to get a bus that's maybe not as quick as it used to be to get you where you need to go. We talked to a student that goes to UTSA. She goes to the main campus. Oh, and wow. it takes her over an hour. Yeah. to get there these days. But just, you know, we talked about Hemisphere. We're going to be live from Civic Park tonight. Just getting to Hemisphere is not easy. It, not right now, not with that construction there on Alamo. And, and it makes me wonder because, uh, I mean, NIOS already started. Yeah. And then on tomorrow and Friday, La Semana Alegre, yes. right across the street. Yes. Right. The closed, that's, the where we're street. that's where we're going to be live from is, <laughs> yeah. is at, at Semana de Alegre. Yeah. And the question is, you know, all these people down there, somebody took a shot last night from their office downtown of just a line of people waiting to get into Nyosa at La Villita. And it was just amazing, but it points out, you've got a mixture right now of locals and tourists and people who live down there, all converging on downtown San Antonio, which we all love, but would we wanna live there? That's the question. And, and you know, it's, it's faced by a lot of different things that all of us, you have face across the city, homelessness is an issue. I talked to the neighbors about crime. Are they concerned about, you know, walking downtown late at night? You know, those kind of things. And the biggest issue is you, you heard the uh, people who lived in a house downtown. Mm -hmm. and technically, KSAT's considered downtown. They said, we just want it to be finished. We just want downtown yeah. to be finished. Right. So it, it's funny when you talk to these people, but they face, all of them seem to face it with a smile. You, you talked about mass transit yeah. a little bit earlier, Steve. Uh, is it bad enough now that it's part of the discussion about what to do next to deal with mass transit? Because we've talked about light rail for years now. For years. It's come and gone, that concept. Is it back on the table at this I, point? In my opinion is you and I can talk about it, but it doesn't seem like politicians want to. Yeah, yeah. it's hot Because potato. it was such a hot potato the last time. Ivy Taylor basically won election as a mayor because she killed light rail. So, I mean, I think it's being whispered, but I don't know which politician is gonna step forward and say, listen, it's time for us to do something. I mean, at least downtown or the south side to the medical center would seem to make sense. But like I said, I haven't heard those discussions being made by people who make those decisions. Sure. Well, and it's all ne not all negatives, of course. No, no, of no. course not. Um, there's a lot of pluses. And actually, I was going to say, I know a few years back, or maybe more, one of the biggest issues, like, there was not, like, a grocery store. Now yes. there's the, you know, the downtown HEB. But, you know, what do people really love about living downtown? So the downtown HEB, mm -hmm. since you brought that up, people yeah. love it, but they want a bigger grocery yeah. store. <laughs> and they say that is the biggest challenge. If you're going to make dinner for somebody, have somebody over to your house, You've got to go out of downtown to get the ingredients most of the times that you need sure. to make that. Sure. But I mean, they also, just the hustle and the bustle, I think is what people love about living downtown and feeling like you can walk out your door and go to a great restaurant. You can walk out your door. I mean, the river walks your front yard. I mean, it's, 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 it's that kind of lure to downtown. Sure. And you get the sense when you see like the Tower Life building being transitioned from an office building to condos, you get the sense that downtown is attracting more and more people, and it's a diverse group of people that we found that are living downtown. And, and, and as one lady said, I can tell the people who live here, the worker bees, and the tourists. <laughs> and, and I asked, do you ever get sick of all the tourists that come to downtown Aww. San Antonio? She said, no, I love it. I love showing off our city. 
Oh. So that's, you know, those are all questions you have. And, and like you said, certain, sure. certain things that, you know, at your house, Mark, you're not going to have a tourist just walk by and, you know, hey, can you show me how, can you tell me how to get to the Alamo? <laughs> right. Well, you never know. <laughs> you never, you'll never be, know. You'll yeah. be ready. Well, and, of course, tourism and hospitality is our bread and butter. So yeah, much, absolutely. much, much more to come on this. We're going to go even deeper into this absolutely. Uh, in the latest Know My Neighborhood. And you guys will be live taking on the show on the road out at? At Civic Park, okay. 6 o'clock. Right. Myra and I will be out there at 5 and 6. So. That'll be a lot of fun. We it look forward to it. Yeah, good to see you guys. <laughs> Steve, thank you, you, sir. Yeah.